Welcome back everybody to episode five of Strength Quest Deadlift, The Road to 300 Kilos. I'm just gonna let my warm-up sets play in the background and I'll start to explain what's going on. Basically, this week on the Strength Quest video series, uh, we are gonna just follow uh, basically one of the heavy weeks of the deadlift session. Um, I'm not gonna play the warm-ups because you've seen those before or the reverse hyperextension, sort of the prehab work or the tractioning work at the end just for recovery. You've seen all those. I just wanted to focus on the two main lifts of the session, which are both deadlifts. Um, but we're going to start with a heavy overload, um, which is going to be banded deadlifts, and then move into our normal deadlift sets after that. I can't tell you exactly how much each band weighs, I can't remember, but I do know that when all three bands are on there, it is an extra 120 kilos top weight, okay? So I believe I started off with a warm-up set with just 70 kilos, so the empty bar. I like to get the bar up to the correct height first before I start adding any extra bands. Then I did a set with 70 plus the green. Now it's about to be 70 plus green and purple. So it is getting quite heavy towards the top. I did this uh, a few weeks ago, um, basically, the actually the entire last training block, I had uh, some banded work in there. Um, on week one, it was a set of three, week two was a heavy set of two, and week one was a heavy single. Um, the goal on this next three weeks, this is my set of three weeks, so the first week of this training block, um, is to uh, go heavier on my triples, heavier on my doubles, and have a heavier single. I would actually love to have a top weight of 300 or more by the single week. Um, that's the goal at least. So I believe three weeks ago when I did my heavy single, it was 160 on the bar plus three bands so it was a 280 top weight now you will realize that the volume is absent from this training block um, that is for good reason I've not given it up and I will be getting back into the volume very soon uh, it's just that the GPC WA state powerlifting championships are in about three weeks from now and so I'm really focusing on those strength gains really focusing on um, maximizing uh, my, my, my gains for the comp. I don't want to be going in just doing heaps of reps. I've got to get used to handling these heavier weights because, and you'll see later, it does take a little bit of a toll. All right, so after I did the green and purple bands plus 70, I went green, purple. I put another pair of, uh, of 25s on, so it's 120 bar weight plus two bands. Now I added the third band. So right here we have 120 bottom weight and we have a top weight of 240, okay? Now I'm using straps uh, basically just to save my hands. Um, I'm gonna save the hands. There's no point in, in hook gripping. As you know, I hook grip and it does uh, have some wear and tear on your thumb and fingers, and I don't need it. I know I can hold on to heavy weight. I know I, uh, you'll see I do two, um, uh, 260 today, no worries. I've done 300 from blocks before in the past, hook gripping, so I know that the hook grip strength is there. I just don't wanna smash the hands too much. Uh, right now, I'm going into my last warm-up set, which is 140 bar weight um, plus three bands. So 140 through 260. I can't remember if it was for a single or a double. Uh, we will both watch and find out together momentarily. Again, I'm using the straps. I use the straps for all of my overload work, okay? And one of the reasons why I like to do this overload work before the standard deadlifts, which some people might like to do the other way around, is I'm utilizing something um, called called PAPS, which is post-activation potentiation. And basically that means you're upscaling your CNS, um, your central nervous system, and your ability to recruit muscle fibers, to contract them hard um, by lifting a really, really heavy top weight. Then when you reduce that top weight, so when I take the bands off, I'm still lifting more from the ground, but it's not as much top weight, uh, the body still should be able to recruit more muscle fibers, create more power, more force in the lift. So that's called PAPS post-activation potentiation. Um, if you're interested, have a little Google Scholar look. There's lots of uh, sort of research uh, articles written about that. This is my working set. Now, I did this weight for one rep three weeks ago. And like I said, I want to improve that. So today I went for three, well not today, when I did this video, I did it for three reps. And I've put both videos in for you. That was the single from three weeks ago in the top corner of one, two. You can see it's pretty heavy top weight. We're talking 280, so probably above my 1RM currently. I would say definitely above my 1RM currently. Three, smooth lockout. Try my best to have no sort of hitching or ramping up the legs. Um, I know that's not the correct term. Resting the bar on your legs, which is not allowed in powerlifting, okay? Uh, and that was the last set of my, of my band of work. From there, I move into uh, normal deadlifts. So, the rep scheme that I'm doing in this week was three, two, one, three, 
one. And again, that's also sort of using that PAP system, right? Because I'm going three, two, one. I'm going heavier and heavier each set. In this video, it's 220 for three, then 240 for two, 260 for one. And the goal is then when you drop back to three reps and reduce the weight, you still have the heightened central nervous system effect from that heavier single, and you should be able to lift the triple a little easier. Does it work? Sometimes. Did it work for me in this video? Ah, it is to be debated. I'm not sure exactly. I was pretty fatigued. To be honest, the three reps with the banded work um, smashed me. I was really tired after that. And this 240 for a double already felt pretty hard. So. After this 240, I load up 260. Um, I take the I take the the straps off uh, because I do need to practice, you know, hook gripping from time to time. Uh, and I just raw dog the uh, the 260, and it does not move very smoothly, which you'll see right now. Let's have a look. All right, one. Now you actually see in the top corner, I did 260 for a triple two weeks ago, but that is because I did a lot less work beforehand. I was a lot fresher, whereas that 260 fried me, okay? So this week was my first week back after a deload, and here's the problem that I'm having, right? Is that when I deload, I'm meant to come back really fresh, but I actually feel flat that first week back, which is not how you meant to feel after a deload. So I actually called a few of my friends who are powerlifters, much more regular powerlifters than me, and I was saying, look, this is the problem that I'm having. I, look, I, I know I'm not cooking my central nervous system. Um, the body feels a bit tired, but you know, not too bad. But when I come back from a deload, when I should be fresh, uh, I just feel, it feels heavy. It feels really heavy. Like you could see three weeks ago, I pulled 260 quite comfortably. I was gonna pause the video quickly before I do this last rep set. Uh, I, I did 260 for three reps quite comfortably. This week, the 260 was struggle town. Granted, I did a lot more work beforehand and heavier top weight beforehand. I would still be hoping to get a better, a better run at it. And what we sort of came to the same conclusion was that not everyone is built the same. You know, a lot of programs, you'll have three week blocks where you get heavier and heavier and heavier and the fourth week is your deload. Well, some people need four weeks. Some people need five weeks of building that strength. Um, before they're really optimizing and need that that deload, that rest period. So I think what was happening was by weeks two and weeks three, I'm starting to get in the groove and then I just back it off with this deload and it deregulates, it brings everything back down again. So in the future, I am gonna try to push out an extra week or two uh, on my heavy uh, heavy weeks before I really um, commit to, it, to, to a solid deload. And I think that's gonna have a, a lot better effect for me moving forward. So I will let you all know about that you know, as I'm doing it. But I'm gonna unpause this video the final set of one was a 270. I already was not hopeful, but I I took my shirt off and put the single on because I felt like that means business. And let's have a look. Doing the old belt up, making sure it's in the right position. Get a little bit of ammonia up the schnoz there. I'm trying to get the high rate. I'm trying to force myself to get amped up for this rep. 270 which would be a nice little PB at my body weight, which is well below 100 now, my weighted 90 kilo weight class. Oh, just not a very nice lift. Knees buckled in, butt scoots back, um, which is not great. So let's go pause that quickly again. It, basically, what I want to focus on moving forward is making sure I don't stunt good progress by deloading unnecessarily or too early. Moving forward, I wanna make sure that I keep increasing my heavy top weight uh, so that I'm one, beating what I did a month ago, but two, really getting ready to handling weights over that 280 mark. So 280, 290, 300 top weight. So when I do pick up a 270 fresh, it feels light. Uh, moving into GPC states, I think that um, realistically, a 270 kilo deadlift would be really nice. I'm competing in the 90 kilo weight class, so it would be a three times body weight deadlift, which I'd be really happy with. And it's well on my way to that two, uh, to that 300 kilo mark, um, which I think which I think is definitely gonna happen this year. So that's some of my primary focuses moving forward. 
Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I included that fail rep because this isn't just a series that shows you the good lifts. I'm showing you everything. The good, the bad, and the very ugly, which that was. Uh, it will be better next time you see it. Thanks for tuning in. If you haven't done so already, please drop a like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps this channel grow and I appreciate it. Um, if you have any questions or things you want to see in future episodes of this Strength Quest mini series, drop a comment and let me know. Well, otherwise, I'll see you guys in about two or three weeks uh, in the lead up to the GPC States. And uh, let's grip and rip, guys. Have a good one. Bye.